Hey guys and welcome to Book Read Friday. Well, Book Read Saturday. I was a bit busy this week, finishing my Masters in Engineering, cycling, launching a medtech device, applying to competitions with a medtech device. I think I do a bit too much stuff. But anyway, let's launch the intro and let's see what books we've got for this week. <laughs> This week's books are going back to medicine. I do know that I promised a few of you that are studying economics and finance, hopefully, a few books as well, as well as those who want to do physics and the hard sciences. So keep your eyes peeled for the next few weeks. But these books, I think, are fantastic for anybody interested in medicine, particularly about anatomy, microbiology, and we'll start off straight away with one of my most brilliantly loved books, The Human Body Close Up. This book is an absolute gem. It was recommended to me back when I was at school in sixth form, I think at GCC, by my school biology teacher. My school biology teacher, she studied natural sciences at Queen's College, Cambridge, and she one day took her copy out of this book and just opened it up. And this book is truly, truly fascinating. It's got the most wonderful... Oh, that's a bit... Uh, <clears throat> yep. It's got the most wonderful um scanning electron uh, micrograph images in here so close up so detailed and it goes through all the different organs and organ systems in the body and it really shows you like to the atomic level how well organized and how well structured these different parts are so if you're someone who wants to study microbiology or medicine then i recommend this book it's got less theory i wouldn't really revise theory from it but it's got all the diagrams and all the images you need and the best thing is, once you join medical school, once you start anatomy, once you start histology classes, you get reminded of the images you saw in here and the quality of the images that you saw in here. So a fantastic book. Now remember, this was a bit expensive, but then again, I've had this for four years and it's still a fantastic book that I'm you know, using and reading once in a while. So a very worthwhile investment. Go and check it out. The next book is all about cancer. Cancer is a disease which affects everybody nowadays, whether you've got a member of family, or a friend that has gone through it and you know hopefully has survived or unfortunately has passed away. It's a disease that, although we know a lot about, there is still loads we don't know. And if you're someone who wants to apply to medicine, then understanding cancer is a very important aspect, not only on a scientific level, but also on an empathetic level, how to deal with cancer, how to break the news of someone having cancer to a patient and a really good introduction is this book and I got this book myself around October 2015 when I was applying myself to medicine and it goes through cancer uh, sort of with a, the perspective of you reading a story it introduces you rather superficially and as you go through it it begins to incorporate more detail and by the end of it you've actually learned both the different types of cancer why cancer arises but also the treatment options and how cancer actually causes damage in the body. So again, it's a fantastic beginner's guide, as the book says itself, to cancer. You don't have to be an aspiring medical student to read this. You don't have to even be interested in medicine to read this. If you just have someone who's affected by it and you want to know more about it, then this, I'd say, is a foolproof guide to introduce you to the main concepts about it and also to hopefully um, just give you a good idea of what's going on because it's one of those diseases where everyone talks about it and everyone mentions the word cancer, but even myself, until I actually sort of started reading about it, didn't realize exactly what it was. I think at one point when I was much younger, I thought cancer was an infectious disease, but it really isn't. I mean, it is actually, I think amongst Tasmanian devils, cancer or a certain type of cancer can be infectious, but amongst humans, it's not infectious. But anyway, right. We'll leave it at this, get out and read it now. And the last book is more of a sort of history-based book for medicine. Um, a really good book again, The History of Medicine, and it's one of those a very short introduction books. This is because you don't need to know a lot about the history of medicine, and so a short introduction is all you need. For thousands of years, we've been crushing up herbs, spices, and different um, things we find in nature, and we've used it for remedial purposes. And this book sort of puts into context when 
that understanding we have of you know medicine many many you know years ago how that was turned into the modern medicine we know nowadays and how it was formalized into the evidence-based medicine we see now how drugs are again developed how they are used and this book shares a few similar concepts to the book i recommended a few weeks ago um, that was the rise and fall of modern medicine by james lefanu but this book starts more about where medicine originated and i guess gives you a few interesting facts about the ancient part of medicine the part of medicine that once you go to med school you won't really hear about because nowadays medicine is rightly about research and evidence and empirical data so um you know this sort of book gives you context and maybe a bit more meaning as to what medicine was like in the ancient greek and ancient roman times so although this book won't necessarily help you do better in your a-level exams or even in your medical school exams i think it'll give you a great deal of general knowledge general knowledge is fantastically important to hold a good conversation and who knows you might find out some interesting facts that you can share with your friends and family later on after reading this so get out it's rather cheap i think what 7.99 very good price get out read it and with a cup of tea i think it makes a few days of reading so as always three fantastic books once again for this week do go out and get them and what i love about book read friday or book read saturday today is that these are books that I, you know, did a lot of research into when I purchased them many years ago and I really enjoyed reading myself. And so what I really hope is that you also see the excitement that I have um, and feel the excitement that I have about these books, mainly because they're so good. They are, you know, books that I was recommended and that I read myself and I really enjoyed and gained a lot from. And although I don't remember everything from them nowadays, they are still really, really good books, particularly for those of you at the level of finishing GCSEs and, you know, going to A-levels, doing A-levels and applying to medical school. Remember, next week, economists, finance kids, you guys will be lucky. I'll share my recommendations for you then. And for students applying to physics, mathematics and the hard sciences, the week after, I've got some fantastic books that you will love. So look out for those videos. I do hope you enjoyed the new Book Friday intro. I thought I'd jazz it up a bit and inspire you also to get a cup of tea, get some books and begin reading. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.